Hello everyone, we are back again on another episode of Hotline Topics, where we give you the best entertainment news in Nigeria. Today, we are discussing the life of Bimbo Akintola and learn curious things from her past and present. We are sure you want to discover interesting things about this actress. Bimbo Akintola is talented, beautiful and motivating. She is a Nigerian actress. Her acting debut was in 1995, when she featured in the film Owo Blue, alongside Femi Adebayo. Followed up with Out of Bounds in 1997 with Richard Mufedamijo. In 2013, she was nominated for the Best Actress in a Leading Role at the year's Nollywood Movies Awards. Her hobbies are singing and dancing. What is Bimba Akitola's age? The beautiful actress was born on the 5th of May, 1970, in Ibadan, Oyo State, Nigeria. She's 49 years old as of 2019. As they say, black don't crack. Akitola looks young and beautiful. What was Bimba Akitola's early life like? Bimba Akitola was born to a father who is a Muslim cleric from Oyo State and a mother from Edo State. She's the third in a family of six. The actress began acting as a puppy with her peers for the school's end of year drama events. As she took part in more plays, her passion for acting grew and became effortless with time. Bimba Akintola's education. The actress had her primary education at Maryland Convent Private School, Maryland, Lagos State. She then proceeded to command day secondary school, Lagos. She holds a national diploma certificate and a first degree in theatre arts from the University of Ibadan, your state, Nigeria. While in school, the actress used to perform every weekend at a place called The Vine on Allen Avenue alongside the late Jai Abodere. Bimba Akitola's parents have been married for over 50 years. Is Bimba Akitola married and does she have a child? Bimba Akitola has never been married and is yet to have any kid. She says that she has several kids whom she takes care of. Some of them are already adults and have their own children. In an interview with Punch, the actor said the women who have been waiting to find a husband can go ahead and have kids if they choose to, putting the biological clock into consideration. She is also of the school of thought that no man is perfect. In a 2012 interview with Bella Niger, the actor said any woman that's looking for Mr. Rice will die single, old and wrinkled. There is no perfect man. When asked if she could be a single man, especially in a society, she said, of course I can definitely i can do it because i don't see anything wrong with it things are changing in the world at large if you look around you'll find a lot of women having babies taking care of themselves it's everywhere there are women who are not actors and they are single mothers i think it's about their biological clock instead of waiting for manna from heaven and you know there is no manna and you feel the need to have children then do it on considering the issue from yoba traditional point of view seeing as we yobas believe a woman is incomplete without a man me bakitola had this to say they have to change their thinking due to the time you can't be written in the past when the present and future are a totally different place. If you look at what is going on now, there are women looking for a husband but can't find. So you would now say because of that they shouldn't have children. That's unnecessary and it's like making them suffer twice. I think for anybody that wants to have children, as long as you know you're capable of taking care of them financially and emotionally, why not? When asked about the pressure for women to get married, she said, I guess these questions arise because of the country we live in and the kind of people we are. It's also something I think we need to look at critically because it seems we are creating more troubles for people as marriages are now crashing within six months or even less. This is partly because society puts a lot of pressure on people to get married. Shouldn't we take a step backward and ask ourselves, what are we doing wrong? It's not about how soon, but how well. I think it's time we realize that marriage is such a beautiful, a serious thing. I think it's time we realize that marriage is such a serious thing. Shouldn't we allow people to make their own choices by themselves without pressure? Friends should stop putting pressure on their children. Many women are divorced now and in some cases there is a serious fight and both of them would be fighting over the custody of the child. We need to start changing the way we look at marriage. It's important we get married but marry at your own time. Some of Bimba Akitola's movies include Owo Blue, Out of Bands, The Gardener, Dangerous Twins, Beyond the Verdict, Smoke and Mirrors, Udrush, Aitale, Heaven's Hell, 93 Days. And our television series are 2015, Husbands of Lagos, 2016, Gale, just to mention a few. The pretty screen diva, Bimba Akitola, has said that one of the things she fears the most in her life is social media. The Oyo State born star who spoke with Saturday Beast stated that despite social media's many positive sides, it had a way of influencing people negatively. According to the 49 year old, many young people across Nigeria allowing themselves to be pressured into living fake lives through what they see on social media. She advised youths not to be carried away by what they see on the various networking platforms they have subscribed to on the internet. She said, the first thing people need to remind themselves of is that it is not everything they see on social media that is real. A lot of people only show the sweet sides of their lives on social media. And those who look at such do not always know that there is a sour side too. As far as I am concerned, social media only portrays one side of the story and not the reality of life itself. And that is why I fear it so much. Young people must be careful not to allow social media to pressure them into leading fake lives. 
on how she had managed to keep her good looks in spite of her age. The amiable actress told Saturday Beats that the secret was nothing special. She had it. For me, I believe maintaining a healthy lifestyle is the secret behind my looks. I don't joke with exercise and rest. This has helped me to maintain my figure and the way I generally appear. On the allegations that Bimbo is a snob, the beautiful actress pointed out that the problem is that many people judge you without knowing you. If you do your findings, you would realize that the people that accuse me of being a snob have never even met me. Rather, they rely on hearsay or just from their opinions. You also should not judge me based on certain rules you've seen me act. Whatever happens on screen ends on screen. It's all make-believe. I'm always original. I don't try to be what I'm not. At this stage of my life, I don't leave my life to impress anybody. And I've never done that anyway. On spending our first take-home pay with friends in one day, which was around 50,000 naira back in 1995. Yeah, fam, it was 50,000 naira way back when I was in school in 1995, I think. I bleed the whole cash in one go, parting with friends. Looking back now, it sure was fun. The Sandra Yoba actress noted that she had gone past the stage where she ran after producers just in a bid to gain popularity. According to her, I've been in the movie industry for a while. In the beginning, when you're a newcomer, who wants to make a name and wants people to know who you are and the directors to see your work? You do anything that comes your way. I have passed that point. Right now, I believe that anything I'm doing should mean or say something. At the end of the day, we are not just entertainers, but we also educate and inform. I believe in this profession. I'm passionate about acting. I went to school for six years because I believed in it. This was all I wanted to do at the end of the day. It's where I think I belong. That's what has kept me here. Because of the glitz and glamour that surround the movie industry, most people seem to think that actors are with all rosy. When asked about the financial difficulties, lots of actresses face, the out of band star said, until actors start getting what is really due to them, such as royalties, the industry cannot be robust. In Nigeria, when you shoot a film, you only get whatever fee is paid. You don't get royalties on the subsequent monies that the movie makes. If you truly want positive and meaningful change, the industry has to be properly regulated. The truth is that people are living from hand to mouth. Lagos is not an inexpensive place to live. By the time you deduct your rent, children's school fees, other expenses, you realize that the money you are making is nothing. That is why everybody is becoming producers. Meanwhile, that shouldn't be so. You cannot just say you're a producer without following the laid down procedures, but there are no enabling laws. According to her, I've been in the movie industry for a while. In the beginning, when you're a newcomer, who wants to make a name? Bim Bakitola won the Best Actress for Heaven's Hell at the 2015 Ego International Film Festival. That is just one of her awards in the span of her career so far. Well, we hope you enjoyed today's episode of Outline Topics. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content. And we hope you have learned a lot about Bimbo Akintola. Until next time, remain blessed.